Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tomorrow will be uh, the five year anniversary of the Delphi murders. Well, depending on when I get this edited. <laughs> so right now it's Saturday, but unless if I don't get this done until tomorrow, then today is the uh, five year anniversary. So there was a few videos that I found because of the anniversary. The first one I'm gonna play for you is actually an interview with Indiana State Police Superintendent Doug Carter. He, he says some interesting things. He basically gives us some hope that he thinks that they will catch the killer. And he actually even said he thinks that they will catch him before he retires. Well, he said before his run ends. So whatever that means. I took it as he was saying before he retires or whatever. And what else did he say? He said that, well, he just gave he gave us some hope. Like, because he's the one that knows everything. Like, all the stuff that we're wondering, what do they know? What do they have? Are they close? Do they know something that we don't? Do they know something that looks like they're going to be able to catch this guy? So it's really important to hear what he has to say because he knows all the answers to those questions. If they do have more information than what they're saying and they are close. So he just sounds hopeful, I feel like, in what he says. So I'm going to play that for you first. Okay, so here it is. I know that everyone wanted to know why. And I wish we could tell them. Right now at 10 o'clock, the head of Indiana State Police answering our questions about gaps in the murder investigation of two teen girls in Delphi. This weekend will mark five years since Abby Williams and Libby German were murdered on a trail in Delphi. It's a mystery that remains unsolved and one that Indiana's top police officer says haunts him. News 8's Demi Johnson has covered the Delphi murders since day one. She joins us now with more, Demi. Yeah, five years, no arrests, no publicly named suspects, but lots and lots of rumors and speculation. Tonight, the Indiana State Police Superintendent tells me he believes someone will be arrested in this case eventually. Wish we could tell people and literally the world what we know. And one day we'll be able to, but today's not that day. The list of what Indiana State Police say they know and what the public wants to know keeps growing. It's been five years since Abby Williams and Libby German were murdered. In the months and years since, we've seen two sketches of possible suspects, heard a recording from Libby's cell phone, yeah, yeah. and most recently learned about a social media profile named Anthony Schatz. Court documents uncovered by Wish TV say Kagan Klein admitted to creating and using the account to get more than 100 sexual pictures and videos of underage girls. Klein made that admission in February 2017, just 12 days after the girls were murdered. But he wasn't arrested until more than three years later. I asked State Police Superintendent Doug Carter how that was allowed to happen and why it took nearly five years to tell people about the account. I will just simply say that we have gleaned a tremendous amount of information over five years. Okay. And we would, if there was a me any meaningful reason to talk about it or act on it, we would have. A couple years ago, at a press conference, you said the killer could be in this room. Yes. Do you believe that your investigators have interviewed this person? I'm not going to go there. I don't think it'd be a proper for, it'd be proper for me to do that. But I do think that the killer would be watching this interview. What do you want to say to him? Uh, what the family says today could be the day. Sleep well. Today could be the day. Maybe it's tomorrow. If we're sitting here, February 2023, do you believe, based on what you know, not what the public knows, but what you know, that we'll be talking about an arrest? You, you are really creative when you ask me questions. Personally, I'm very critical of myself. And I certainly hope that by the time that my run here ends, that there's an arrest made. I think it'll be before that. And that's all. Now, we do want to be clear on this point. Kagan Klein has not been charged in the girls' murders. In fact, no one has. He's in the Miami County Jail awaiting trial. He faces 30 counts, including child porn and child solicitation. Demi Johnson, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.
All right, Debbie, thank you very much. And as Debbie mentioned, in the case against Kagan Klein, we have new developments there tonight. Wish TV has learned that Klein today filed a request for the judge to delay his trial on 30 counts of child porn. Trial is scheduled for May 9th. The judge uh, says that if the trial will be delayed or, or what the new date might be, we'll keep it posted on that. Okay, so what did you guys think of that? I'm going to point out a few things that he said here. So, so the reporter brings up to Doug Carter how Klein made the admission 12 days after the girls were murdered, but wasn't arrested till more than three years later. And why is it that it took five years to tell the people about the account? And he responded by saying that they have gathered a tremendous amount of info over the last five years. And if there was any meaningful reason to talk about it or act on it, we would have. So that's how he responds. So I think what he's saying right there is that it's not connected. I mean, it might be connected in a way that that account was a co connected to Libby. But I feel like he was saying that it's not Keegan Klein. What do you guys think that he meant by that? Don't you think that's kind of what he was saying by saying, you know, if there was any reason to act or talk about it, then they would have. Because we were all waiting for him to say something. And why didn't they tell us earlier about the account? And, and I think he kind of answered us by saying basically that there's really nothing to talk about when it comes to Keegan. And as far as like the murders, that he must not be responsible for the murders. At least they must not think he is. I think that's what he's saying, guys. So, but hopefully they do have something else. I mean, hopefully, because for him to say, you know, he thinks that they'll catch him before his run ends, basically. I'm hoping that that means they do have some kind of leads and some kind of information that makes them think that they're going to catch him. So, and then at the end, when they ask, when the reporter asks, you know, what, what message would you have for him? And he says, today could be the day. Sleep well. Today could be the day. Maybe it's tomorrow. I don't know. I like Doug Carter. He seems like a cool, caring guy that actually really does care. Okay, so I'm going to play you a couple more videos. There's just some news clips with the family members talking about the five-year anniversary and just how they're feeling and, and just their thoughts now. So here they are, guys. It was good to hear that something was going on. It just brings me hope that they're still working on it. I feel more hopeful every time something comes out. Right now at 10 o'clock, the families of two teen girls murdered in Delphi say they're hopeful an arrest is coming. It's been five years with few leads and no publicly named suspect in the killings of Abby Williams and Libby German. But the girls' families say information that has surfaced over the past few months has given them hope. News aides Demi Johnson is here with us now. And Demi, you've been covering this story, this case, since day one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, and tonight the families tell me the their renewed sense of optimism comes after learning about the social media profile named Anthony Schatz. State police say they found that account while investigating the girl's murders. She was supposed to be my maid of honor. In just a few months, Kelsey German will walk down the aisle. Along with her soon-to-be husband, Kelsey also imagined her sister Libby would be waiting for her. I get to go through all of these big things this year without her and that. It really stinks. Kelsey's dream of sharing her big day with her little sister came to an end when Libby German and her friend Abby Williams went for a walk down a trail in Delphi on February 13, 2017. They were found dead the next day. Over the years, police released two sketches of a possible suspect, a recording off Libby's phone, <laughs> and most recently, investigators told the world about a social media profile named Anthony Schatz. Just gives you a, a little more reassurance that they're still doing their job. Do you believe that your sister was going to meet someone? I think um, that we don't know yet, um, and so I try not to think about it. I think until law enforcement tells me that that's the answer, or even they haven't even told us how the Anthony Schatz profile is connected, or even if it is. So until we get those answers, um, I try not to think about all of the reasons why it's relevant. Court documents uncovered by Wish TV say Kagan Klein admitted to creating and using the account to get more than 100 sexual pictures and videos of underage girls. Klein made that admission just 12 days after the girls were murdered, but he wasn't arrested until more than three years later. Libby's grandpa, Mike Patty, wants to know why, but says he also has full faith in law enforcement's reason for not telling him. At the early stages of it, yes. I wanted to know everything, um, but I've come to realize that, hey, there's a process we have to go through. Right? We, have, we live in a, in a society with laws, 
and uh, we need to follow those. And, and I, I'm willing to, to do what needs to be done in order to get the end result. For Abby's mom, Anna Williams, the end result is more information, and that's what investigators are asking for. They want to hear from anyone who may have been in contact with the Anthony Schatz account. That tells me that we're probably a lot closer than than even I think we are. Um, they obviously are just waiting for one very valuable piece of information, but we just keep our fingers crossed that somebody is going to turn that in and um, that we can get our resolution soon. Do you feel like they're closer than they've ever been? I hope so. Um, I definitely think um, as time goes on, we're another day closer. So hopefully we don't have to go another year and have another anniversary having these same conversations. Again, we do want to be clear on this point. Kagan Klein has not been charged in the girls' murders. In fact, no one has. He's in the Miami County Jail awaiting trial. He faces 30 counts, including child porn and child solicitation. Demi Johnson, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook. The Delphi investigation on its most wanted page as the case of the week. This weekend marks five years since someone killed Abby Williams and Libby German near the Monon High Bridge Trail. If you have any information that can help police, email the tip line. You can see the addresses there on your screen. We also have it posted for you right now if you head over to WTHR.com slash Delphi. Five years after the Delphi murders, families of Abby and Libby are still figuring out how to move forward. Tonight, our Emily Longnecker talks with Libby's older sister about the major life milestones shadowed by her absence. She was just such a light to so many people, and I hope that I'm able to do that too. 22-year-old Kelsey German will always be the older sister, but when it comes to how she wants to live her life, she has to look no further for an example than how her little sister Libby lived hers right until the end. She just wanted to be there and help everybody. Um, and that's kind of how I've always wanted to live my life is knowing that she's my role model now. Sunday will mark five years since the last time Kelsey saw Libby alive when she dropped her little sister and Abby Williams off at a walking trail near Delphi where the two friends set out on a hike. The next day, the girls' bodies were found in the woods. Like she does every year at this time, Kelsey will spend the day with her family, remembering the girls over the weekend with a food drive. I think it can get very tiring to do nothing. If we were just sitting at home and not keeping busy, we would have lots of time to be, you know, in our own thoughts. And so actually going out and doing something and helping others, it just brings us a little bit of, you know, this is, this is what we're doing for them. And um, we don't have to think about the bad stuff. We can think about all the good things that are coming out of the bad things that happened. So far, what's not come has been an arrest or even a person of interest named despite police sketches, along with audio and video of the killer, Libby captured on her cell phone that day before the unthinkable happened. She was so smart. Um, I think that video and audio definitely keeps people's attention. I think that helps us a lot. I think people see it and they're like, oh my gosh, this 14-year-old girl thought about taking a video of this and we have this video and we have this audio and we don't have answers. That's crazy. Kelsey remains patient though, believing at some point today will be the day. The man who killed her little sister and Abby will be found and charged. When I'm feeling like no answers are coming um, and I'm feeling defeated, I, I say that. I say today is the day it's coming. It'll get here. We're going to have answers and just reaffirm myself and say, you know, it's hard. It's frustrating. It's been five years, but we're going to have answers eventually and it's coming. For Kelsey, what's on the near horizon is college graduation this May with a degree in forensics and psychology. A month later, she's getting married both major milestones, and with them comes a painful realization she's lived over and over these past five years. Every time one of those big milestones happens, even just buying my wedding dress, you just remember that the person that's supposed to be standing next to you isn't there. And um, that's really hard to realize in all of those moments. Our hearts continue to go out to the families of those two young girls. Now the FBI is featuring the Delphi investigation on its most wanted page as the case of the week. State police are telling us this case has not gone cold. In fact, last night we sat down with the superintendent, Doug Carter, to ask him how close are investigators to finding the killer? Eventually I'll be able to tell the world what we know. And the rest of the group will be able to tell the world what we know. Uh, unfortunately, I can't right now. 
You can hear more of that interview on WTHR.com. Just click on this story. Really, 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 really need your love. I'm begging you to be kind. I'm begging you to be kind.